fasting, an ancient practice rooted in various cultures and religions, has surged in popularity due to its touted health benefits. From intermittent fasting to prolonged multi-day fasts, these dietary practices have found their way into contemporary conversations about health and well-being. Today we're delving into a specific type of fasting, the seven-day fast, and its surprising effects on diabetes. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Let's start with some context. Diabetes, as many of us know, is a condition where the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or cannot use insulin effectively. This results in high blood sugar levels, which over time can lead to various complications. The management of diabetes often centers around dietary choices, making the intersection of fasting and diabetes particularly intriguing. Our first stop in this exploration is the idea that fasting can be a tool for weight loss. It's a well-accepted fact that weight loss, especially in individuals with type 2 diabetes, can lead to improved blood sugar control. In a study published in the Journal of Obesity, researchers found that fasting led to a significant reduction in body weight and body fat. This weight loss was associated with reduced insulin resistance, a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. In essence, losing weight through methods like fasting can boost the body's ability to use insulin, which can be particularly beneficial for those with type 2 diabetes. Moving on, let's talk about pancreatic function. The pancreas is the organ responsible for producing insulin. In a groundbreaking study from the University of Southern California, researchers found that cycles of prolonged fasting, that means fasting for two or more days, activated stem cells in the pancreas of mice. These stem cells led to the regeneration of pancreatic cells, improving insulin production. Now while this study wasn't based on a seven-day fast and was conducted on animals, it provides a fascinating insight into how extended fasting periods might impact insulin production and function. The liver also plays a vital role in our discussion about fasting and diabetes. This organ stores glucose and releases it to maintain blood sugar levels. In a study in the journal Cell Metabolism, scientists discovered that fasting triggered a metabolic switch in mice, converting liver cells from glucose production mode to fat burning mode. This switch could potentially stabilize blood sugar levels, reducing the highs and lows often experienced by those with diabetes. Fasting also seems to play a role in modifying gut bacteria. Our gut hosts a myriad of microorganisms that play a role in our overall health, including our metabolic health. A study from the journal Nature Communications found that intermittent fasting altered the gut microbiome in ways that promoted better blood sugar control. Again, while this study wasn't based on a seven-day fast, it opens the door to understanding the potential impacts of longer fasts on gut health and diabetes. Now not all the effects of fasting are metabolic. Stress, both physical and mental, can impact blood sugar levels. Cortisol, the stress hormone, raises blood sugar, potentially complicating diabetes management. Fasting, especially extended periods like seven-day fasting, is a stressor on the body. A study in the journal Endocrinology found that fasting led to increased cortisol levels in the bloodstream. This means that while fasting has several potential benefits for those with diabetes, it also has the potential to elevate blood sugar levels due to the body's stress response. Here's another curveball. While fasting has shown promising effects on blood sugar control, it might not be the best strategy for everyone with diabetes. Medications, particularly insulin and sulfonylureas, can lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels when combined with fasting. A study in the British Journal of Diabetes noted this risk, urging caution and close medical supervision for those with diabetes who are considering fasting, especially if they are on medication. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for, the most surprising effect of a seven-day fast on diabetes. The most remarkable finding comes from a study in the journal BMJ Case Reports, where a patient with type 2 diabetes embarked on a seven-day water-only fast. At the end of this period, not only had the patient experienced significant weight loss, but their blood sugar levels had normalized without the need for medications. Even three months post-fast, the patient maintained normal blood sugar levels without diabetes medications. This suggests that, under the right conditions and supervision, extended fasting can have a profound and lasting impact on blood sugar control. Fasting can have various effects on individuals, including those with diabetes. 
While some research suggests that fasting might offer certain benefits for people with diabetes, such as improved insulin sensitivity and weight management, there can also be potential risks and side effects. Here are a few potential surprising effects of a seven-day fast for individuals with diabetes. Blood sugar levels. Fasting can impact blood sugar levels. For people with diabetes, especially type 1 diabetes, managing blood sugar levels during a fast can be challenging. Fasting may lead to hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, or hyperglycemia, high blood sugar, depending on factors like medication usage, insulin sensitivity, and individual responses to fasting. Dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. Fasting can lead to dehydration and imbalances in electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium. People with diabetes are already at a higher risk of dehydration due to increased urination from high blood sugar levels. Fasting might exacerbate this risk, potentially leading to complications. Medication adjustments. Fasting can impact the timing and dosage of diabetes medications, including insulin. If you're fasting, your healthcare provider might recommend adjusting your medication regimen to prevent hypoglycemia or other complications. Nutritional deficiencies. Prolonged fasting could potentially lead to nutritional deficiencies, which could have broader health implications. For individuals with diabetes, managing nutrient intake is essential for overall well-being. Energy levels and fatigue. Fasting can lead to fluctuations in energy levels, and some individuals might experience fatigue, weakness, or dizziness during extended fasting periods. People with diabetes may already experience variations in energy levels due to their condition, so fasting could exacerbate this. Stress on the body. Fasting places stress on the body, and for individuals with diabetes, this stress might impact blood sugar control and overall health. Managing stress is crucial for diabetes management, and fasting could potentially introduce additional stressors. In conclusion, the world of fasting, especially prolonged periods like seven-day fasts, is both complex and fascinating when viewed through the lens of diabetes. From weight loss to the regeneration of pancreatic cells, modification of gut bacteria, and even the potential reversal of diabetes symptoms, the effects are varied and profound. However, fasting is not a one-size-fits-all solution, and its implications differ from person to person. For those with diabetes considering such a dietary journey, it's essential to consult with healthcare professionals, ensuring the journey is not only enlightening, but also safe. The story of fasting and diabetes is still being written, and as science delves deeper, we'll undoubtedly uncover more surprises and insights in the years to come.